All right, well, stirring up the sky lately has been a dreary case of deja vu. We have now had eight straight cloudy days, putting a dull exclamation point on what has been the gloomiest January on record. 18 of the 29 days this month have been considered cloudy. 11 of them were a full on overcast. WCCO's Jeff Wagner learned why we're stuck in this rut and how people battle the blues. Twice a day, meteorologist Brent Hewitt releases a weather balloon into the air. I'm just going to hold on to it for a few seconds over here. It'll measure temperature, wind speeds, humidity, and dew points. Three, two, and one. But you don't need fancy equipment to tell you that cloud cover feels like the new norm. If you look hard enough, you see the sun behind it because it's a thin layer. But unfortunately, uh, it's just thick enough to hang on and you know, make everyone's day a little gloomier. At the National Weather Service in Chanhassen, Hewitt showed us how the jet stream is currently split in half to our country's north and south. And we're just kind of stuck here in the void of the upper Midwest. Meaning there's not enough activity above us to shake things up. In the summer, that might mean fog in the morning, but sunshine by noon. But this time of year, we're not getting any solar radiation. And without that solar radiation, you can't really break up the cloud deck. And we don't really have any wind, so it's been very stagnant. Rough times, some might say. And then after your work, when I get home, it's kind of challenging to get out the door and take the dog out, but mm. it's worth it because then it kind of picks up my mood and I feel better when I'm out moving around. Although it's been a while since we've seen the sun. Maybe three days or ago, three or four days ago. Its disappearance behind this stale shield of blah has made the outdoors feel inviting, even for January. I would rather have the warmth, for sure, because then you can get out a little bit more. But, I mean, I'm, I'll be happy to see the sun, too. Jeff Wagner, WCCO 4 News. In case you were wondering, the longest stretch of consecutive days with zero sunshine was October 30th to November 13th back in 1972. 15 days in a row. Think we could tie that? No. <laughs> I was just Good. trying to imagine how crabby people were oh, back you then. Know it. Oh, you know, the weird thing is high pressure was passing overhead, and that typically gives us the blue sky oh, and the really? cold air, but that stratus deck, the thick cloud deck, is so thick it can't even break it down.